Today we are going to be doing an unboxing and a review of the Aqua Al Lady 60 Aquarium set. But first, a short message from our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by Pet Habitat in South Africa. They have a huge online store catering for cats, dogs, hamsters, rabbits, fish and a lot of other animals. I truly recommend that you check out their website. I was really impressed with the variety of stock as well as the quality of stock that Pet Habitat sells. They also sent over the Aqua Al Lady 60 Aquarium set for a review which made this video possible. So a big thank you to them. A link to their website will be down in the description. What's up guys, Jock here from Agmovi Farms and welcome to today's video where I'll be doing an unboxing and a review of the Aqua Al Lady 60. Let me start by saying that this setup is an all-in-one setup. It comes with a filter, a heater, a light and also a lid. All of this plus a stunning design. So what's in the box? Well, Pet Habitat included two awesome items that are not part of the original aquarium set. An aquarium mat for underneath the tank, as well as a light for plant growth. And I'll put more focus on this a bit later. Let's have a look at the extras that come included with the aquarium set. It comes with the Aqua Owl 50 Watt Gold Heater, the Aqua Owl ASAP Filter 300, and the lid of the aquarium has a built in light that is rated for 6500 Kelvin, which is perfect for plant growth. Let's unbox each of the included items individually. First up we have the heater. It is a 50 watt heater that is made for 15 to 50 liters aquariums and it has a temperature range of between 18 and 32. In the box we have the manual as well as the heater itself. It feels and looks like fantastic quality. You can set the temperature at the top to your preferred temperature. It also comes with a clip on mounting adapter and two suction cups that I forgot to take out of the box to show you. So let's switch over to the included filter. This is called the Aqua Owl ASAP Filter 300 and it's made for aquariums up to 100 liters with a flow rate of 300 liters an hour. In the box we have the suction cups as well as the manual. It is a relatively small filter compared to my hand. The suction cups just push into these holes and with a small twist it grips tightly. The filter sucks in water from these holes, pushes it through the sponge and out at the top. When you twist the filter, you can remove the top part for easy cleaning. All in all, a sturdy little filter that can change the flow direction by just swerving the top from one side to the other. The light that comes with the Aqua Al Lady 60 set is already mounted at the top and is an 8 watt 6500 Kelvin light, so it's perfect for plant growth. The light is also sealed and condensed water will not have an effect on it. The wall at the back makes this light look yellow but I can confirm that it is a pure white light. On the top of the lid you'll find a quick access flap that makes feeding a lot easier. The lid itself can be lifted up and it will stay in place so that you'll have easy access to all the things inside of your aquarium. To the left and to the right of the lid you'll find these pre-cut channels where wires of the lights, filter and heater can pass through. So you can add them to the left or to the right of your aquarium. Around the inside of the lid, as you can see here, there are some drain channels to direct the condensed water back into the aquarium. So when you open the lid, there won't be any water dripping down the side of your glass or even dripping on the floor. Then also at the bottom of the lid, there are some breathing holes so that the fresh air can enter the closed lid. Looking at the tank itself, the black silicone on the sides creates a very stylish appearance and the tank itself seems well built. The silicone was added perfectly and it runs in a straight line from the top to the bottom. So to sum up, will I buy this aquarium set for myself? Well, yes, it looks stylish, it's well built and it comes with almost everything you need for a really nice setup. I plan to do a really nice aquascape in one of my upcoming videos, so looking forward to that. Ok guys, now for your 3 tips. Tip number 1. If you plan on doing a high tech setup with CO2, you might want to consider installing another 6 or 8 watt light as the light that comes with the aquarium will be sufficient for most plants, but there are some plants that might require a stronger light. Pet Habitat did send over the Aqua Al Lady 6 watt light that is made for plant growth with a rating of 8000 Kelvin. So I will be using this one together with the 8 watt included light rated at 6500 Kelvin. I've noted that adding different spectrums gives your plant a better opportunity for growth. And the Lady 6 watt light has 3 individual different colors to achieve this better growth. 
And lastly, tip number two, go and check out Pet Habitat's website. Quick service, fast shipping, and always willing to help. Thank you again for Pet Habitat sending over this aquarium set. This is going straight to my living room. But that's it for this video, guys. If this video sucked, you know what to do. But if it was awesome, get subscribed, press that like button, and check out our other videos. I really hope you guys learned something today. And as always, keep it trimple.